Let's go inside. Inside the freaking ride with Kenny Sargent. Kenny Sargent inside the ride. Fireball Ministry. You got Johnny, Emily here. Brilliant. The, the new CD, Their Rock is Not Our Rock. It's the same mantra as the Speed Freaks. Our coverage of motorsports is not ESPN. It's not Fox. It's not NBC. And we're not afraid to take the finger and show it to people. Right on. That's what it's got to be, in your face or not at all. When, but at the same time, you've got to have a backbone to have that attitude, Emily. Right. I mean, this is our third album, and we were just like, okay, balls out on this one. We're tired of, like, worrying about, well, you know, can you say that? I don't know. Because in rock today, there's a lot of irony and things, and people kind of take it as a joke, and we're totally serious about our rock, and we just wanted to kind of put it out there, and just and, and that's it. Well, Emily, you hit the nail on the head. You said balls out. I was talking to your publicist, and I said, what happened to the day that I could walk into a rock and roll show and see a freaking rock and roll show, not worry about drama or some cat that's going to fall off the stage? I want my nose and ears to bleed, Johnny. It's very contrived these days. You know, rock and roll, the, uh, the big radio stations, without mentioning any of them, um, want a format. They have a format. They want to have the whole package. They want to have a good-looking guy or girl up there, you know, fronting the band, and it's got to be like, you know, good lyrics uh, that these kids can relate to in a way that it's not like true art, true passion, true emotion that I think Fireball has and doesn't care about those. And I don't want to say, uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, you do, Johnny. Come on, you're in the Freak Nation, dude. Oh, hey, man, you know what? It's, it's all about playing, playing from the heart, and that's where we play from. And we put our heart and our emotion and all our passion into it, and what comes out is what people dig. So, Has Johnny had a bad time at a show? And uh, You're human, Johnny. And you can't lie to the Freak Nation, dude. Oh, no, they know me. Of course. You know, you have a bad show and everything you do. Have you had a bad show? <laughs> I think I'm having one right now. Boom, seconds. One up. good story that kind of involved a car. Hmm. And you started to say something about yeah. a van, dude. I got to hear that story. Kind of a crazy story. Well, it, this is years and years ago. It was about 15 years ago. I was playing in a band called Zero Tolerance, and we were in Pittsburgh with a band called Sick of It All. Mm -hmm. We were loading up our equipment. show was done. All of a sudden, this, this cat comes walking up, stumbling up. He's had, like, this burlap sack with this dark stuff on the bottom, like wet dark stuff. And we're like, this guy's rolling up, and he's all drunk. He's like, yo, you mother, blah, 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 blah. You're about to get shot the this and that. And we're like, well, whatever, dude. And then somebody's like, I got me a head in this burlap sack. And he's like, you a what? A head. So like, I got a head in this burlap sack, and I'm about to take some more. And he opens it up, and he shows a couple of people that were standing there. They freak out. It's a freaking melon in that bag? And then he pulls out a gun, and everybody, pew, takes off. We all run back to the van. We get in the van, and everybody's like, start the Car, start the car. Ooh, excuse me. Start the car. Let's get the hell out of here. It got he drops the keys just like in a horror story. You know what I mean? And then we finally fire it up and get the hell out of there. But that was like probably the craziest uh -huh. time. I really did feel a little on. Oh my God, am I gonna make this? <laughs>